Hi everyone, I've got a dream school success story. It goes like this. I've been stuck in a career that I don't see a future in for years. Though I was grateful for the security of my job, deep down I always knew that I desired to be an artist. I came from a very conservative family of doctors, lawyers and engineers. I was told as a kid who was passionate about drawing that you can draw after you've done your real job. As a result, it did take me years to build up the courage and self-acceptance to think that it is okay to pursue art. In order to make the shift, I thought going back to school for art would be a good idea. I applied while still working my full-time job in both 2022 and 2023. The results were multiple rejections, which was tough. This year I decided to give my art dream a chance as well as the energy it actually needed. I quit my job without having anything lined up. My plan was to do a year of art explorations. I will use the result to apply for school one last time. This time I focused on doing the kind of work that I truly love. Not what I think I will get me into the school, but what I really enjoy making and drawing. I figured in order to develop an art practice that I love, I need an environment that appreciates my honest and genuine expressions. There is no point pretending to be someone else. For that, I could have just stayed in the security and comfort of my previous career. After submitting my portfolio, I was invited to do an interview at my dream art school. At the interview, my favorite professor was sitting across from me and she complimented that my drawings are beautiful. I was in tears when the acceptance letter popped up in my mailbox. The study is fully funded and the school is located in a city that is very popular amongst artists where there are tons of exhibit exhibiting <laughs> opportunities. A friend only told me afterwards that the acceptance rate for this art school is only 9%, which I am glad that I was unaware of while I was applying. Here are some points I'd like to mention about this story. Number one, in terms of manifesting techniques, when I feel pretty good, I would imagine opening my wallet and seeing a student ID with my picture on it and just feel excited that it finally came true. When I feel anxious and insecure, I would do surrender and letting go meditations, the ones that Agnes has with handing your issues to source. I can tell you that I did way more surrender and letting go meditations than the prior in this year. Number two, personally, I think the most important thing here is not the manifestation, but the learning of self acceptance. It has taken me many years to build up the courage to first admit that I wanted to be an artist. And secondly, that it is okay to do what you love because only through doing what you love, you will be united with like-minded people. Even if you're not ready to take steps towards your desire, I believe that by holding it in the quietness of your heart, you're already guided towards it slowly, but surely. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. When you come from families that come more from academia and from the more traditional roles, like the ones you mentioned, that can be quite challenging. But I think this is fabulous that you extended yourself to believe you could do it and you tried three times. It didn't happen straight away. So that's fantastic. Now I will put also down below in the description and up here next to my head at the end of the video, I interviewed two other people that have made a full time income from their art. One was an aerospace engineer and she let all that go and she now paints full time. And another one is a beautiful woman who pays all her bills from selling her paintings here in London. So I will put both of those up for you. If you are creative, you might be wanting to jump into an industry that is completely different to what you've got going on. So enjoy these people's stories to fuel inspiration inside you. Lots of love everyone and see you in the next YouTube.